Okay, so now that you understand how to build your email autoresponder series, let's jump right into video number five and talk about a quick overview of GetResponse. And what I'm gonna do in this video is to give you a overview of the dashboard itself. I'm gonna walk you through, we're gonna log in, and that way you have a better idea of where everything is and what we're going to actually use. Okay, so what you need to do is go ahead and go to getresponse.com, as you can see here, and you're going to see some basic plans. And I recommend that you get the very basic monthly plan. Don't do annual yet until you get a better idea of if you like GetResponse or not. Now, it runs very similar to other autoresponder systems. Some are beneficial in certain areas, but at the end of the day, we're just trying to build a basic list. So up at the top, you're gonna to see contacts. Now, obviously if they change the user interface, it will be slightly different. Now, the basic plan is just gonna give you access to the contacts, which is building your list and doing broadcasting and creating autoresponder series. Now, what is broadcasting? Broadcasting means that if you have a list of say 100 people, you can email them all at once. The autoresponder series, however, on the other hand, will work based upon how and when somebody actually signs up. So if somebody signs up today, their autoresponder series sequence is going to start today. If somebody signs up two months later, their sequence is going to start two months later. Now, automation, you might have access to landing pages, basically allow you to create landing pages, opt-in pages to help you build your list. Now, if you're using something like lead pages or any other external third-party system to build landing pages, then you can connect to GetResponse through API. Now, I'm not going to show you how to do that in this particular video course because that's not the whole goal of this video course. So you might have access to that. Now, if you have the basic plan, you're most likely not going to get access to the webinars and other elements as you can see here. So mainly, you really just need to focus on contacts and email marketing. So let me go ahead and open these up so you can kind of get a feel for what these are. So this one right here is the contacts. So when you click that, you're going to see lists, which are the different lists that you can create for your individual products. You could create a customer list for one product and then maybe a prospect list for that product as well. And like I said, the more specific the list is, the better it's gonna actually convert in the long haul. So you have lists, you can do a search, you have statistics on seeing what's actually happening within your list. You have list hygiene, which allows you to clean your list and blacklist. Basically means you can blacklist them from ever signing up in one of your web forms ever again. And you have other items here, but we really don't need a lot of these. Really, you just need to focus on lists, which allows you to create a list. You can add contacts if you have, you know, an external spreadsheet of email addresses. Then we go to email and under email marketing, you have newsletters and then you have autoresponders. Newsletters are like broadcasting. So if you email them one time, and everybody gets the email at one time. And then autoresponders are, of course, what we're talking about in this course. Drafts are simply emails that you've created, but you haven't really sent them out yet. So you can retrieve them at a later date if you want to. And then of course you have RSS to email. We hardly use that in statistics, which you definitely need to use. And of course, if you click on landing pages, you can go here and create landing pages. Now, the items that we're really going to focus on are mainly, like I said, creating a list like here and then creating an autoresponder series right here. So with that said, let's move on to the next video.